open day to you all, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Kuzai Katema, and I'm a physics student here at Concordia. Uh, I'm a freshman, and uh, I'm originally from Zimbabwe. Uh, today, I'm going to share with you uh, uh, about climate change in Africa, and I'm going to look specifically at the impact that climate change has made on the African continent, and I'm going to also look at the significant developments that are being put across uh, to minimize the effects of uh, climate change in Africa. So we all know that humanity is living beyond its environmental means and running up ecological debts that future generations will be unable to repay due to, uh, as a result of global climate change. So from the Arctic to the marine turtles in, in the coast of uh, Africa, our planet's diversity is at risk due to this uh, changing climate. So, some of you might be asking right now, uh, why should we be concerned, or why am I concerned about Africa? Well, we all know that climate change affects all of us, no matter where you are, no matter where you come from. So, our actions throughout the whole world will affect each and every one of us. And... I also believe that by sharing information from where I come from, I can learn from you and you can also learn from me. And one of the things that really inspired me to talk about climate change in Africa is that I was once a victim of climate change uh, back home. Uh, in the year 2008, we had uh, a drought in Zimbabwe, which, is, which was really new to us because we are well known for... Uh, increased agricultural productivity. So uh, can you guys imagine a situation where you have money in your pocket, but there's nothing to buy with that money. There's no food to buy in the grocery stores. So uh, I understand how hard it is because I've lived uh, the effects of climate change. And lastly, as uh, Concordia's mission states that we should send into the world Thoughtful men and women that are able to uh, influence the affairs of the world by becoming responsibly engaged in the world. So we are here to brew. So firstly, I'm going to start uh, with the impact of climate change on the African continent. Okay, as you can see from uh, this uh, world map, uh, it shows the mortality rate uh, per million population. And as you can see, it's obvious that the African continent is mostly affected by um, climate change. But one of the saddest things uh, that I came across was that Africa is the least country that is the least continent that is responsible for climate change in the whole world. But it is the most affected. So, this is one of the things that I thought you guys should also know that your actions here might also be affecting other people out there. Okay, these are some of the effects that are currently being seen in Africa today. We have uh, rising sea levels. Well, this is going to threaten about uh, 100 million people living in the African coastal regions. And it has been predicted that by the year 20, 2050, the sea level is going to rise by half a meter. And that is going to displace more than 100 million people. And we also have acidifying oceans. This is killing vast amount of minerals that are found in seas and oceans. And uh, this is also affecting marine life, plants and animals, of which some act as a food source uh, to many people in Africa. So due to these acidifying oceans, we are going to uh, have increasing hunger and poverty in Africa. And also the weather is more severe. As I mentioned before, we are experiencing droughts, which we normally didn't experience before. And we are also having hurricanes and floods that are becoming frequent. And the African continent is spending a lot of money uh, trying to uh, help people who have suffered from uh, these severe weather changes. 
these are not the only ones. We are also having uh, a spreading of diseases. Uh, for example, where I come from, because of the increased temperature, mosquitoes are spreading, and we all know that mosquitoes bring malaria and fever. And due to that, it's going to increase also the strain on the health sectors in Africa. And we are also experiencing shortage of drinking water right now, but it has been projected that by 2020, 70 to 250 million people in Africa will face increased water stress. And this might also lead to people uh, trying to find water from unsafe water sources and leading to diseases like diarrhea, cholera, and again, it will increase the stress on the health sector. Well, climate change, yes, crippled Africa in many ways, but I would really want to emphasize on how climate change has affected agriculture in Africa. Since agriculture is very sensitive to climatic uh, conditions such as rainfall, humidity, and temperature, the rise and the change in these climatic conditions will adversely affect Africa in many ways. And we should also know that agriculture is the source of livelihood to more than 60% of Africans by providing both food and employment. So, with all this happening, the African continent has not kept quiet. They have developed uh, strategic plans to minimize the effects of uh, climate change on the continent, uh, of which some are listed here, innovation, adaptation, and mitigation. To start with, uh, Africa is taking advantage of mitigation opportunities um, by uh, taking use of clean energy, for example, uh, geothermal energy, hydropower, uh, and it also is creating sustainable uh, urban transport systems like the mud bus that you have here. If everybody starts using the mud bus, uh, this is going to uh, decrease the carbon emissions uh, in the atmosphere by a large number. And uh, this is one of uh, the projects in Africa right now. Uh, they've adapted to using geothermal energy, solar energy, that will uh, minimize that will be used as an alternative to other sources, like uh, fuels, like uh, petrol, diesel. So by using this, we are trying to minimize the amount of carbon emissions into the atmosphere. Since Africa supports important di biodiversity, uh, both terrestrial and aquatic, Africa will be ad adversely affected because climate change is weakening these uh, ecosystems. Uh, but Africa has invested in ways, in many ways, to, pr to protect and balance these ecosystems. One good way it has done so is by increasing um, their tourism opportunities in Africa so that this would also balance the amount of income coming in into Africa and the amount of income that we are putting out. And uh, Africa is also promoting sustainable agriculture. It has adopted to climate resist, resilient technologies and practices to increase crop yields and protect its livestock. The lastly, adaptation. While adaptation to climate change may be very costly to the African continent, uh, it is necessary it has been a necessary step uh, to take uh, in the uh, African continent. Uh, this involves research by, by institutions on how to create, uh, for example, drought-resistant crops and livestock. So as a summary of what I've just said, I have a video to show you guys on uh, Africa on the move addressing climate change.
Thank you. Uh, as seen in this video, some of the measures that I've said that should be put across in Africa uh, have already been bearing fruit in Africa. For example, the issue in Nigeria, the transportation system in Nigeria, it has generated 5,000 jobs as well as created indirect impact to about 500,000 people. So, and if the whole of Africa could adopt uh, these strategic plans, as well as the whole world, we are going to see a huge positive turn uh, in the issue of climate change in the world. So to conclude, I would like to leave you with the words by Chief Seto. He says that we do not inherit the earth from our ancestors, but we borrow it from our children. So keeping that in mind, we should try and put across the activities that we know are going to benefit future generations. Thank you.